Hello there guys, welcome to this video. Just before we start, I just wanted to make sure that you guys leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy this video. It's always fantastic to get brand new subscribers onto this channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's going to be a tutorial based on how to create a thumbnail for free on the internet. So this is exactly how I would create my thumbnails. Uh, anyone who's seen my videos, that's how I create them. Uh, I use this um, software here called Pixlr. Pixlr is completely free, uh, so you just need to type in pixlr.com and it will uh, come up to this screen here. Now this is absolutely fantastic because it gives you all the dimensions that you need. Now in order to create a YouTube thumbnail, the dimensions are uh, 1280 uh, times 720 so it's this one here so what you'd have to do is you have to click on this so you see the uh, the blue line underneath so you know you've highlighted it and before you start you have an option now um, if you want to open up with an image you can simply pick an image if you want it to be your background or if you just simply want to start something with a blank background which is what I normally do you can click over here onto this button here which is the background button so if I click on here it gives you the option of all these different colors now don't worry these aren't just the only colors if you click on the white it gives you every single possible color that you want um, for your thumbnail background um, so what I'm going to do today because it's um, going to be a tutorial video um, I might decide to create this uh, let's let's go for like an orangey color shall we so you can see the color that's going to come up here um, and that's what it will be when you're happy with that color, remember you can pick any color that you want, you then click on the create button here and it will come up with this big screen. Now, you can obviously make it smaller by using your mouse and scrolling out. Now, don't worry, this is not going to make it any smaller. You can still see here the width and the height are still the correct dimensions for your YouTube video, so don't worry about that. Um, when you get to this point all these things down here. I'm not going to go through all of these because we're just going to complicate you. We're going to go through the very basics today where you can just simply understand how to create a thumbnail. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to think about what type of pictures you want to put on here. I'm going to go over fonts and text and all that a little bit later on. So what you need to do is you need to go to Google. Now, this is really important. So here I've decided to simply find a YouTube logo. So what I've done is I've simply typed in YouTube and then PNG. Now the PNG is really, really important because what that does is it makes it transparent on your uh, thumbnail that you're going to do on Pixlr. Now you'll see in the background here, you can see these little tiny dots. Now that basically means that that is, um, it's basically like see-through. So when, when it goes onto your, um, onto your Pixlr design, that background won't be on there, the white background. Now I've had a few issues with this in the past where they say they're PNG, but they're actually not PNG. So you really need to make sure that it doesn't have a background on it. So once it's saved, you simply go back over here, you save it to your desktop. And what you want to do is you want to click on layer at the top. Now when you click on layer, you're going to click on add image as layer. Now this is super important, okay? When you do that, you're simply going to go down, it's going to open up your documents here, you go down, and I clicked on this one as well, I decided to get this amazed face as well. And you'll notice that this is a PNG as well, so if I click off this, you can see there's absolutely nothing. You can see where the square is, now if that wasn't a PNG, all this space here on this square would be white, or whatever background it was previously, but because it's a PNG, it doesn't. So that's something straight away that makes our thumbnail stand out. So I'm just going to put him in the bottom right at the minute. I'm not going to worry too much. In fact, now I'm going to put him bottom left. Uh, another little tip for you guys um, in terms of thumbnails. Don't put too much stuff in the bottom right here. That's simply because when you're scrolling through videos, you'll notice that the time duration of the video is around here, and that basically blocks off any key information that you've put on your thumbnail. So I wouldn't put anything important in this bottom right corner. I would make sure it all goes here at the top or over here is the safe zone where people are definitely going to see what you put on your thumbnail. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my YouTube on as well. So same again, you click on layer, add image as layer, you simply go down, you try and find it, and YouTube 1.1, one, one, that's what I saved. Double click, notice again that it does not have that background. Now, when you're on this, this button here, you've got this little like arrowy button, that is a very important button because as long as you're on that, you can move this around as much as you want. So I might decide, hang on, it's a little bit too big, so I can just narrow it down like that. If I want to be really fancy, and I'm not fancy at all by the way on my thumbnails, but if you want to be really fancy, you can even move this 
to the side with the middle button like that if you want to go for some kind of cool uh, little looking thing so you might decide to put it here possible I don't know it's up to you really where you want to put it or I might decide maybe I'm gonna make this one a little bit small I'm gonna move this over here notice how easy this is to, to move around and play with um, so I might actually say right I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna put that at the top and then finally my text is gonna go at the bottom here so that brings me on to the next part which is which is the text now dead simple you'll see this T here that is your text button all right now then click on that text button and then you're gonna click on your screen and it will simply say do you want to add te uh, a new text layer you are gonna click add so when you've clicked add you'll notice that the text basically comes up now at the top here all your different types of text that you've got now from here upwards this bangers one all the way up here these are downloaded text that I have personally downloaded myself now in order to do that you can go to dafont.com again this is a dead dead easy website where you can download any um, font that you want and it's all for free which is absolutely fantastic so that is a nice little tip for, for you if you want to really uh, spruce your text up on your thumbnails which the majority of you will do so for this one I might decide to use Grubold okay this one pretty much is like um, a standard YouTube um, text isn't it so I'm gonna double click on this and I'm just simply going to say we're gonna we're gonna make this stand out so it could be you could say how to how to make a YouTube thumbnail space again for free and I might put a few exclamation marks as well so what's what that's done now is that's basically created my text now you'll notice I tried to click on this YouTube thing there nothing is going to happen to that unless you click back on this arrow now this is where I got frustrated at the beginning of this and I tried to figure it out you need to click on here in order to move things around so I might decide now my text has got quite big so I'm gonna bring that down a little bit here just so it looks a little bit like that now if you want to continue with your text you need to press the T again and double click now there's loads of different options that you can do with the text and it's really quite exciting now you you kind of what it's up to you really the style that you want I'm gonna simply put this in red because I think it's gonna make it stand out so all I would do is I click on color and again just like before with your actual thumbnail you can just sort of go down you can pick what color you want I'm gonna pick red for the sake of it now something else that's really cool when this is highlighted if you go to styles you have the option of doing something called an outline so if I click on this outline here what this does can you see there's a little outline now around the writing uh, when I do this I prefer to go for black so if I go down to the bottom left corner there so it's black I click on OK you can see it there now you may think to yourself hang on that that looks okay but it's not really standing out at the moment what you can do then is you can go onto the size and the size you can see it's making it just a little bit bigger and that's where you see all these um, these gamer YouTube uh, channels basically making their things now another really cool thing is if you can click pinch out so if I click on that what happens there is it takes out the actual color of your text and it just has the background on it so I don't really like that at the moment so I'm going to take that back out because I don't think it gives it that much of, um, of an impact at the moment so I'm gonna basically have a little play around with this I might decide to make the right a little bit bigger because just remember as much as you think um, as much as you think it may not be big at the time it needs to be big because remember your thumbnail is so so important it's got to get people's attention straight away so I'm gonna click on this arrow again I might just move this back around I'm not gonna be fancy I, I don't have the ability to be f oh, goodness me I really don't have the ability to ability to be fancy at all so I'm then gonna put that like that it's back around there gonna make this bigger um, might move this text back across and it really is all about you deciding what you want to do with your text it's completely up to you you might decide to, to do it like this this obviously isn't the best thumbnail that you're gonna come across but if you were to see this video it will give you a simple message wasn't it it tells you how to make a, a YouTube thumbnail for free okay when you're happy with that and you've, you've sort of played around with things remember this is a basic tutorial it's nothing major at the moment in order to save this you simply go on file you click save and you simply save it to your desktop and voila 
you have a YouTube thumbnail which you have created for free. If you guys enjoyed that video, please remember to hit that like button. Please remember to comment and subscribe. Any tips below for anyone else who is watching this video who does have some questions, I will try and reply as much as I possibly can. But yeah, I'll see you guys later.